Hi, and welcome to the seventh grade accelerated transition course. I'd like to take you on a tour so you can be successful in this course. The first thing I want to share are two links on the left side of our homepage. This first link is going to give you access to all the handouts that you will need for this course. You can print them out before you begin the course or as you go through each module. The other link that I want to share with you is the course checklist. This is a checklist to help keep you organized and on track. You can bookmark this for yourself and then check off the items as you complete them. And then back on our home page, over to the right side are the three lessons that you will complete. One of the biggest things that you need to keep in mind is to complete each unit as they appear as well as complete each item within each unit as they appear. So begin at the top and do not skip around. And the first item in lesson one is gonna be the overview of what you can expect within this lesson. So read through these instructions. And then the next item that's gonna appear is going to be the lesson itself. This first link is the PDF. If you have already printed out all your handouts, it will be handout 1-1. If you have not printed them out, this is the, another opportunity to print this out. If you do not have access to a printer, you can simply use notebook paper. The lesson itself is the video. You need to make sure you pause the video when you need to. And then at the end of the video, you'll have an opportunity to practice more problems. Once you complete all your work, you will take a picture of your work. I suggest that you save your work in your Google Drive and then you will upload it here. Once you submit your practice problems, then you'll be able to go to the next item, which is going to be the answer key. So step three in each lesson is the key. One other very important part of this course to be successful is to go over your answers and make any adjustments that you need to make before moving on to step four of the lesson. There are four steps within each lesson. So our final step, step four in lesson 1-1 is the concept check. In the concept check are a variety of questions. Each question has two attempts, and you are also allowed three similar questions per item. So you have two attempts on three similar questions per item. So that is six total attempts per item. Once you complete the concept check, you will go to the next lesson, which will be lesson 1-2. And this process will repeat over until all the lessons within the unit are completed. I am going to scroll down to share with you what the unit test looks like. So when you end the last lesson, you will have access to the test. Step one of the test is another overview of what to expect. You will have scratch paper that you will submit after taking the test. You will have the amount of time given for this test. One note to make is once you begin the test, you cannot pause the time. So if you do pause the test, the time will still continue. So you need to be prepared to finish your test in one sitting. There is a password for every test and you will be given the link on the following page. And once you submit the testing agreement, you will get a pop-up of a message that tells you what the password is for that particular test. This is just an example of what the message will look like once you submit the testing agreement. So on step two, 
you have the testing agreement link as well as the test. So you cannot start this test without the password and you must go through the testing agreement in order to get the password. So once you complete your first and last name and answer all these questions and click submit, the password message will show up here. Again, once you submit your password, your time will start. After you submit your test, the next and last step of the testing process for this unit is where you will upload your scratch work. And again, I suggest that you save your image of your scratch work in your Google Drive and then upload it easily here. Okay, let's go back to the home page and take a look at a few other items. So you can access each unit directly on this home page or through modules. I also want to let you know that in this course, your homeschool may require a face-to-face -face test before school starts over all this course. So you will have to reach out to your homeschool and ask them if there is a required face-to-face -face test. This course does end on July 10th, 2024. So make sure that you have all three units completed successfully. If you have any questions throughout the summer or when you begin this course, you can contact Ms. Carpenter. Here is her email address and I am Ms. Thomas and here is my email address. Good luck and I know you'll be successful following all these suggestions.